thoughts on, on the game overall tonight, Hamza? I'm just I'm surprised. The thing is, I'm surprised with all of you. Like, literally, this is a problem we get covered. It's like politicians over, often are the biggest cheats. And you will get covered by so these dreams of, I'm going to give you a house, I'm going to give you this, your healthcare is going to get better. And then you vote for the same criminals. Real Madrid today, yeah, again, controversial in the final. I said it, I've been highlighting this problem for a long time, but no one talks about it. I don't know why you guys never talk about it. No one talks about the biggest controversial thing in the game today. The biggest, like literally, oh, Madrid, so special moment. Yo, do we cover everything? Do we cover? But when Man City does it, first thing, yo, let's talk about it. Oh, robbery handball. Yo, yeah, let's start. Every single time today, Vinicius should have been sent off. It was clear. It was clear. And it makes a big difference. It, but this is not... I tweeted this today. Why should I have been what, sent off? Was why? I said it, why? I said, why? I, I, I said today, I tweeted it. I said, Dortmund, get ready today. Because I've been a victim of it before that. Bayern were a victim of it before that. Leipzig were a victim of it, of a decision like that. Everyone gets a vi Everyone's been a victim. But you know what? Look at you. The way you're looking, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. That you Why should he have been you, sent off? You, I'm you sorry. Hold on one second. I congratulate Madrid winning the 6-15 UCL. But I get angry because this can't keep happening because poor Dortmund, they should have been playing with 10 men. Fact. Vinicius died why? for that. Okay, but why? I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm oh. lost too, Mo. I'm lost. Yeah, yeah. Bellingham, Fowley, Kamavinga did the same things at the burnabout. Five fouls oh. on my play. Should have been suspended. Never. Bellingham died four times. Bellingham died against my my team. He got away with it for the... But they don't get booked. Oh, Listen, Madrid today, Dortmund should oh. be blamed yeah, for those chances they missed. But the biggest thing, Vinny was on the pitch and he scored a crucial goal to win Real Madrid the Champions League final. And if you're coming out here to say, oh, Hamza is being a... Bro, you should be ashamed of yourself. I am lost. Can you explain to us? Can you explain to us? I can, see a, us? I can see a Chelsea fan here. Hamza, 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 can you stop ranting for a minute and, and answer the questions of the panel? Why should he have been sent off? Explain the, the reasons for... for so Okay, that's one yellow. That's a yellow, and the second yellow, straight. One no joke. Okay, so so let me just uh, throw this at you. The dive wasn't seen. So then, what should have happened? It wasn't seen. You think the linesman was there, just five meters yeah, away? Yeah, it, it, it wasn't. See. It wasn't. It wasn't seen. Okay, but, so but, but, but the linesman. So let me ask you a question. So, uh, let me let just let me please, when I'm hosting, let me talk, please, because I, I, the viewers need to hear this. I get your point that if he dived, he should have been booked. I get your point. But when you say it's a conspiracy to help Real Madrid, he was booked for a non-foul on the goalkeeper a few minutes prior. Yes. But if you're good. trying, if you're saying that the referee does nothing to try and damage Real Madrid, yeah. but yet he gave a booking, like the goalkeeper of Dortmund, would you agree, was rolling around holding his leg like it was broke? Yeah, but he, he got kicked. Yes. That's hey. the so, so, yeah, so he was doing it, but he wasn't, he wasn't, there was no contact on the part of his There's knee. No contact, Hamza. Hamza. The, point, the, point, the point is this, Hamza. The point is this, right? The issue when it comes to diving that I have is that fans pick and choose when they care about diving being a problem. They, they like absolutely do. Every, every single fan base has players in their team that will either dive or simulate or play at. At the end of the day, Vinicius Jr. shouldn't have been booked the first time round. You could argue he should have got, he should have got booked for the dive. But in the cold, hard light of day, he stayed on the pitch because he should have been on the pitch. So although the, both those decisions were wrong, the end result of him being on the pitch was absolutely right. Because if he wasn't booked for the first no, one, which he shouldn't have been... been. It was disgusting halftime, and they said it clearly. It, it, it was disgusting. It, 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 look, I think you're being disingenuous. I, I understand that, that you know City are one of the best teams in the world. And Mo Salah. And, and you're in, Mo Salah. Well, Mo Salah didn't play tonight. We're not talking about Mo Salah. Like, from your point, like, I understand why you're bitter. You know, you've just seen Real Madrid lift number 15... Wow. You know, you've just, you know, in, in, in your most dominant era as a club, this team has picked up, what, two or three Champions Leagues. And I understand that that is painful for you, but they are inevitable. They are amazing. I wanted to ask you about Vinicius Jr. Uh, do you think he, he'll win the Ballon d'Or now after another match-winning goal in the Champions League final? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could. He, he could, but it all depends. First, 
it was supposed to be Bellingham or him. Vin- I don't mind Vinicius winning it because Bell- Bellingham had a shocker. Vinicius has been impressive this season. He's been very good. But it all depends on the Euro. So, for example, if England go and win the Euro, and, for example, Foden has a masterclass. <laughs> we, 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 no, no. I, I, bro, England's never won the Euro. Oh, you know? If England win the Euro and Foden has a masterclass and he wins the Euro, then that, it tilts to Foden. But Vinicius is in the upper hand now. Did he but just say Foden? Foden? No, no. Foden, Foden had zero Did chance. he just, did he literally just put Foden there? <laughs> he did. He put Foden in it. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, can so I, I just want one statement, Terry. Just one statement before oh. we go Andrew and, and Steve speak. I just want to say this. Hamza talking about referees and conspiracies when <laughs> if the Newcastle decision was, was said correctly and the Rodri handball was done correctly, he would have seen Arsenal and Liverpool lift one of uh, two of the league titles he won over the last five years is the <laughs> definition of shamelessness. Rodri <laughs> hugged the ball with his hand the way at Goodison Park and it was not an offside in the build-up, don't lie. And Arsenal have had like five, six points taken away from them due to VAR decisions this season. You'd be sat here on two less league titles and you're talking about corruption, have some shame and decorum. Second of all, no player that's compared to Bukayo Saka, respectfully, is going to be winning no Ballon d'Or. Sit on the floor. <laughs> and and if, England win, if England win the Euros, Harry Kane has a bigger chance of winning Ballon d'Or than Phil Foden does. Never mind Jude Bellingham. Have some shame, please. You're so shameless. <laughs> Yeah. Bro, I, I don't, why I, I, why don't you ever congratulate? Just come here, say congratulations, yeah. Madrid. We're, we're talking team. about we're talking about a player here who is who, and I want to get into Bellingham in a minute. But we're talking about Vinicius Junior, a player who's had brilliant a brilliant two, three or four years, has just now scored for the second time running at twenty three years of age, two winning goals in Champions League's finals. This is legacy making. Be, not beyond all recognition because we've seen other players do it, but it's legacy making of the finest order. And that should be what we're focusing on today because Winter Surfer, Vinicius didn't have his greatest game because Dortmund made it really hard. But is that a sign of a great player that they can be nullified and kept quiet for so long, but still be such a decisive factor in the end? Of course it is. It's like when we say, it's like when a striker doesn't do anything for 89 minutes, then bangs in the winner right at the end. Vinicius, you're right. He some good explosive runs, did that nice little nutmeg in the second half, but he was kept relatively quiet. Um, but he, yeah, he's it, he, this is where you build a foundation. This is where you, you you find out who's the phony tough and who's the crazy brave. And he's a crazy brave. That's what he is. He's a sensational player, and he's only 23. He's only 23, and they're about to add Mbappe and Endrick to that attack with him as well next season. But my 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 hats off go to Ancelotti again. He's basically won a league and cup, league and European Cup double, with having a central midfielder as your main striker and Jocelyn off the bench. I mean, I and you know what I mean. Like, he's, he he is just he's just brilliant. I know people always oh, never retained the league. I don't care. I really don't care. He's won a league in every important. He's leaked out on every important one. He's gone back to Real Madrid and two stints and one now three. European Cups. He's just, he's just brilliant. That's what that's what he is. But Rene Junior again, just this is what you do. Go win the Copa America. He's a shoe in for the Ballon d'Or. He's probably he's probably shoe in for a Ballon d'Or now. If I'm really being honest. Mm. But you you win the Copa America as well. That just even just that just cements it. He's he was. It wasn't. Do you know what that goal is? Wasn't even a good strike. His goal either. You know that. I guess Man City he wasn't great. See. Oh, we're talking about Man City, man. We're not oh. talking about Man City. I'm just saying, what are we doing here? Oh, why are you talking about Man City? Oh, I'm just talking about the game. No. But this is the problem with your conversation. This is the problem when you do that, Hamza. I love you, bro, but this is it. Because you just mentioned... You, uh, like, you've just mentioned that Foden can get the Ballon d'Or. But I can... Well, Foden was rubbish in the FA Cup final against an eighth oh, place no, Man United let team. Why. Let me explain why. Go on. The issue had a stinker, but... He had a stinker. He sc- oh my god, that guy today. He had a stinker, he should have been sent off. Yeah, fair no, enough. Got that off, but that guy he didn't been. have a stinker, bro. No, he, what would he shouldn't be on the pitch? Semi final against Bayern Munich. Where was he? Where was he at Bayern Munich? Where was he at both games against? Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. He scored a break. Hang on a minute. Stop talking. He scored a brace against Bayern Munich away from home. But he scored. It was through that guy's mistake. The defender was. Who name. cares? Who, who, who cares? That guy's who cares? 
No, no, but what was that guy's mistake that made a mistake that defended? Why Hamza? It's very strange. What is happening? No, no, but bro, I'm just saying. Why do you hate Madrid, bro? They're not your no, rival. I don't hate Madrid. I don't. So we, we have one Champions League. They have 15, Abibi. Yeah. Yeah, stop acting like, like they're your rival. You aren't your rival. You taken off a 90th minute. Yeah, he had a stink against Kyle Walker. He had to be taken off. A man sitting at home. Bro, you're Kyle Walker, to How can we Madrid? say this guy's going to be the best player in the world? When he has he has stinkers in multiple games because sometimes games players don't team. play good every single. But you've game. just meant. But you've also just said Phil Foden should get it. Phil Foden has made me. Hang on, hang on, please stop talking while I'm talking, Hamza. You just said Phil Foden's going to get the Ballon d'Or. He was invisible for the first three months of the season. Okay, let me just say why for Foden. Foden has been impressive in the league, clear above everyone else has single-handedly carried Man City yeah. to the league title at the age of 23. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. This is the thing, Hamza. You're disrespecting your entire team and squad. You're disregarding your goalkeeper. No, you're disregarding Haaland. You're, dis you're disregarding Rodri. Sure. Oh, yeah, so Odin carried, on now. Odin carried Rodri. Foden carried Rodri. No, Rodri's been impressive, but... Rodri's been impressive. Crazy. Yeah,